over 20 secrets in Google. The first one to go for is Tic Tac Toe, which is obviously a very famous little game where it's noughts and crosses. Um, you can change the level. Let's play it in possible level. Let's see who's going to win this one. It's a draw. Another one. Google in 1998, which is when Google originally started. That's what Google used to look like. Another little interesting one. Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. B R O S. And if you go over here, you know, hear the little clicks. Boing, boing. I believe if you do this a hundred times, you'll get the the bonus one as well. <laughs> the next one is Google Space. You do Google Space and then highlight I'm feeling lucky. And as you can see, the screen's gone a bit strange. You do Google Space. Oh, Google Sphere. I don't know if this will work in here. I might have to go back. And no. Do Google Sphere and then do the same again. I'm feeling lucky. Do right, another one. Uh, Google Gravity. Oh. And same again. I'm feeling lucky. Next one, blink. Oh. Blink HTML. And then blink the HTML on your screen. Another one, which is Festivus, which is a non commercial holiday celebration, which is actually in the same sound field. Uh, TV show and basically puts <laughs> the stand down the left hand side of your screen. That's Festivus. I have another game. Uh, let's have a solitaire. Let's click to play. Choose what level you want to play at. Easy or hard. And away you go. Another one, fun facts. Who who first used the term survival of the fittest? So it's it's full of um, random trivia, uh, which you might find useful. Oh, we've gone back to the screen there. So we've got fun facts. And now, uh, if you go to google.com teapot, it's a Google 418 I'm a teapot. The quest identity body is short and stout. Tip me over and pull me out. There's a little bit of an animation in there as well. Next one is annoying Google. Google. So, in the search bar at the top, Sorry, not in the search bar, in your, uh, well, yeah, I suppose it's search bar. Uh, don't type like this, oh, this.com. And um, this is annoying Google. So when you type, like, we'll just put Super Mario, it, as you can see, it jumbles the letters up with a lower and uppercase. <laughs> which makes it difficult to read, uh, which is quite funny. Next one, if we go back to Google search, Pac-Man, click to play. <laughs> You can 
can see it's got all the sounds of the original game, loud, like the arcade. Our next one is going to be a bit more practical. Um, you know you can do calculations already, so like for example, you can do monetary exchange rates straight into Google, but you can also do a calculator. If you type calculator and you can use your numeric keypad, well, um, it gives you a full functional scientific calculator. The next entry in one is languages. We go to settings. Should we use it? So settings. Yeah. Languages right at the top. You can see. Click show more. There are some languages hidden in here. Um, let's have a look. Pirate, <laughs> you can have pirate language. Uh, it's Klingon in here as well. Klingon. <laughs> um, always remember, you do put them on, let's just go into pirate language. What will happen is Google, these changes like Google search, <laughs> I'd be feeling lucky. <laughs> um, but if you do change them, remember to change them back as well. <laughs> Like me likes and dislikes. Languages back to English. Save. The next one. Flip a coin. Maybe you've got a port an important decision. <laughs> and you could flip a coin heads or tails. You just click keep clicking the flip it button and it'll flip it around. You can also roll the dice. Same thing, just click it again. Now, if you like games, let's have another one. That's how we break out. I'll do that on an image search. Search image. Oh, here we go. The next one is another game, I put Zero Rush. Look at the game going on here. And this one, Askew, which tilts your page. And a bit more interesting than that one. Do a barrel roll. And that's our over 20 things hidden away in Google. <laughs>